and wonderful day for our dear parents, teachers, and learners. Today, join me in a new episode where you can surely learn from here on Project Dream, the vision navigation and enhancement of aptitude in mathematics. I am Mariano Vizaraos. You can call me Sir Mario. I am grade 6 teacher from Abishan Hills Integrated School and I will be your teacher lecturer for this week's math lesson. Come on and let's learn mathematics! We are now in quarter 1, week 8, grade 6, mathematics. Today, we are going to study how to divide whole numbers by decimals. Mga bata, alam kung kayo ay handa na. Tara na, samahan nyo ako para sabay-sabay tayong matuto. Narito ang ating objectives. First one, divides whole numbers by decimals up to one decimal place. Second one, divides whole numbers by decimals up to two decimal places. Let's have problem number one. Aling Jen sus pillowcases. She uses 7 tenths meter of cotton cloth for every pillowcase she makes. How many pillowcases can she make out of 21 meters of cotton cloth? Since the problem is asking the number of pillowcases can Aling Jen make out of 21 meters of cotton cloth? We are going to divide. So what is the equation? We have 21 divided by 7 tenths. 21 is the dividend. 7 tenths is the divisor. How do we divide a whole number by decimals? Simply follow the step. Step 1. Multiply the divisor by a power of 10 or simply move the decimal point to the right to make it a whole number. So we have 21 divided by 7 tenths. Move the decimal point of the divisor one place to the right. So 7 tenths becomes 7. Let's have step 2. Do the same with the dividend. Place the decimal point directly above the decimal point of the dividend. So, 21 becomes 210 because we move the decimal point one place to the right, then add one zero, put the decimal point on top, so we have 210 divided by 7. Step 3. Divide just like dividing a whole numbers. So, we have 210 divided by 7. Since the divisor is a two-digit number, get also 2 digit on the dividend. So 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. Put 3 on top of 1. 3 times 7 is equal to 21. Subtract 21 minus 21 is equal to 0. Bring down 0. So 0 divided by 7 is equal to 0. Put 0 on top of 0. Then 0 times 7 is equal to 0. Subtract 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, 210 divided by 7, the quotient is 30. So, based on the solution, Aling Jen can make 30 pillowcases out of 21 meters of cotton cloth. Let's have another example. How many 4 tenths are there in 120? We are going to write the equation first, 128 divided by 4 tenths. How do we divide? First is change the decimal number on the divisor by moving the decimal point one place to the right. So 4 tenths becomes 4. Do the same on the dividend at 0. So 128 becomes 1280. So we are now ready to divide. Since the divisor has a two-digit number, you are going to get also the two-digit on the dividend. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So write 3 on top of 2. 
3 times 4 is equal to 12, write 12, we do 12, then subtract, 12 minus 12 is equal to 0, bring down 8, 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2, write 2 on top of 8, 2 times 4 is equal to 8, then subtract, 8 minus 8 is equal to 0, bring down 0, 0 divided by 4 is equal to 0. Write 0 on top of 0, then multiply 0 times 4 is equal to 0. Subtract again, then 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, 128 divided by 4 tenths is equal to 320. Let's solve problem number 2. Mrs. Gomez received a box of canned foods weighing 112 kilograms. She plans to place this into a smaller boxes weighing 1600 kilograms each. How many boxes does she need? So we are going to write the given. 112 kilograms of canned goods, 1600 kilograms. How do we solve the problem? To find out the number of boxes needed, we are going to divide. We are going to do the following steps. Step 1. Write the equation based on the problem. So we have 112 divided by 1600. Step 2. Multiply the divisor by 100 or simply move the decimal point two places to the right. So 1600 now becomes 16. Step number 3. Do the same with the dividend. Since the dividend is a whole number, you will add two zeros. So 112 becomes 11,200. Let's have step number 4. Divide as in dividing whole numbers. So we have 11,200 divided by 16. Since 16 is a two-digit number, get also the two-digit number on the dividend. So 11 divided by 16 cannot be. Get the three digits, we have 112. 112 divided by 16 is equal to 7. So put 7 on top of 2. 7 times 16 is equal to 112. So subtract 112 minus 112 is equal to 0. Since the remaining digits on the dividend are zeros, copy the two zeros and put on the quotient. So the quotient is 700. Therefore, Mrs. Gomez needs 700 small boxes to materialize her plan. Let's have another example. 105 divided by 3500 is equal to n. Make both the divisor and the dividend whole numbers by moving the decimal point two places to the right. So, 3500 becomes 35 and 105 becomes 10,500. Divide just dividing whole numbers. So, we have 10,500 divided by 35. So 35 is a two-digit number, get also two-digit number on the dividend, which is 10. So 10 divided by 35 cannot be. So get three digit on the div dividend. So 105 divided by 35 is equal to 3. 3 times 35 is equal to 105. 105 minus 105 is equal to zeros. Since the remaining digits on the dividends are two zeros, you are going to copy the two zeros and put it on the quotient. So, 105 divided by 3500, the quotient is 300. Always remember that in dividing whole number by decimals, 
change the divisor to a full number by moving the decimal point to the right. Move the decimal point in the dividend the same number of places as in the divisor. You will need to add one or more zeros if needed. Then divide as a whole number. Let's try this one. Write the equation that solve. Number 1. Find the quotient of 175 and 2 and 5 tenths. So we are going to write the equation. We have 175 divided by 2 and 5 tenths. So the first thing that you are going to do is change the divisor into a whole number. So by moving the decimal point one place to the right. So 2 and 5 tenths become 25. Do also the dividend. So move the decimal point one place to the right at 0. So 175 becomes 1750. So we are going to divide 1750 divided by 25. So 175 divided by 25 is equal to 7. Put 7 on top of 5. 7 times 25 is equal to 175. Subtract 175 minus 175 is equal to 0. Bring down 0. So 0 divided by 25 is equal to 0. So put 0 on top of 0. 0 times 25 is equal to 0. Subtract, the answer is 0. So therefore, the quotient is 70. Let's have number 2. Let's have number 2. The quotient of 75 divided by 2500 is equal to 0. We are going to write the equation 75 divided by 2500. To divide the given, change the divisor by a whole number by moving the decimal point two places to the right. The same also on the dividend. So we have 7500 divided by 25. 75 divided by 25 is equal to 3. Write 3 on top of 5. 3 times 25 is equal to 75. 75 minus 75 is equal to 0. The remaining digits on the dividend are two zeros. Copy the two zeros and write it on the quotient. So 7500 divided by 25 is equal to 300. Therefore, the quotient of 75 divided by 2500 is equal to 300. Let's have exercises. We have decimal maze. Solve each equation. Follow the lines from the start to finish. Choose the letter of the correct answer inside the box. Let's start. Number 1. 35 divided by 7 tenths is equal to. What is your answer? Alright, letter B. That is 50. Let's go to number 2. 69 divided by 23 hundreds. The quotient is? Letter A, that is 300. Let's move to number 3. 129 divided by 3 tenths. What is the quotient? Letter C, that is 430. Let's move to number 4. 72 divided by 18 hundredths. What is the quotient? Very good. Letter E, that is 400. The last one. 654 divided by 3 hundredths. What is the quotient? Letter D, that is 21,800. Very good, mga bata. We have finished the decimal maze. Mga bata, natapos na natin ang ating aralin. Sana may natutunan kayo. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, feel free to send us your message 
to our official Facebook page, Math Theme Mathematics Teachers of Mandaluyong, or send a message to your mathematics teachers. Again, this is Mario Valdez Saraos saying, Matsayang Magaral, Tayo ng Matuto!